What's up guys, Jahazy here, and you're watching my Left 4 Dead 2 walkthrough. The level that we're playing here is Swamp, and this is the human walkthrough for the reply to my infected walkthrough. I don't think I need to state that. You guys already know what's up. I do infected and human walkthroughs for the entire Left 4 Dead 2 campaign. A little side note, if you guys haven't already, subscribe for my contest. You can win over $500 in prizes and shoutouts to your YouTube channel. Go check the About Me section on my YouTube page for that. Now let's see. Let's see. Um, I, we, there was two Molotovs up there on the, on the boat, the little paddle boat up there. And we picked them up because we knew that we were facing a tank. Because we previously had a tank. And that's what we use to kill the opposing team. So you definitely, definitely, definitely 100% want to pick up any Molotovs if you know for a fact that you're going to be facing tanks and such. What I did here is I held the perimeter up ahead so they can't spawn ahead and do the charging technique that I did that I showed you guys. God, I hate those mud men because they make you blind. Those are probably the most annoying, non-special infected. Well, I guess they could be considered special infected. I think they're even more annoying than the police officers in the final campaign. That's just my personal opinion. Here I see that there's two grenades, so I toss one way ahead. And then pick up my Molotov again. Did a bit of damage there. Here I... I don't think he was even aiming for me when he jockeyed me there, but whatever. Here we take a really, really long time for some reason, and we get held up real long. A lot longer than we're supposed to. I personally think that we should be moving a lot faster than this. But, uh, yeah. No big deal. You definitely want to sit in, you know, uh, ambush areas for a long time, you know. Straightaways are fine, but ambush spots that they can get you from multiple angles. Definitely want to get out of there as, long, as, as quick as possible. Here I do a little intimidation with the tank, with the, my Molotov, as you can see. And Molotov is a... Like, if you're playing against decent players, the Molotov is a very good weapon because it's going to make the player that you're facing hesitate to attack. And also... If you hit them with the fire, it's gonna make them panic. So it's a good, uh, so it's a good weapon against. It's the best weapon against tank. Period. Let's put it that way. Even better than Boomer Bile, even if there's a huge horde, because if they keep on moving, the infected aren't gonna do that much damage to them, as if, as opposed to if he was just standing still. So the Boomer Bile does do good damage, but not as good as this uh, Molotov. Here I do a little noobish mistake. I bring him into the water, which makes him uh, makes his fire go out. As you can hear, my teammate just say that. But it's no big deal because he died right there. It would have been a lot worse if you know he kept on uh, if he kept on attacking after that, because then I pro I would have probably got pwned. Here I pointlessly use my pills to take the adrenaline, but I, I figure the adrenaline is more useful considering the pattern that we're, we're, we're doing, which is pretty good on health, but the pattern as in, I mean, uh, how we're not getting that much damage done to us by the special infected. So I figure the... I usually try and be the leader on my team if... In this game, it's best if everybody's a leader because everybody moves as one whole unit. You don't have to, you know, drag people with you. You know, if you guys want to uh, go through levels really quick and everybody has a leader personality, you'll see yourself getting through these levels really quick. And here, once again, we get held up for a very long time in a stupid spot because one of my teammates called out said that there is uh, health packs in there but this is another one of those ambush spots that you can be attacked by multiple angles 
You know, we could have just easily ran through this part and uh, got little damage done to us, as you can see. Multiple angles is what exactly what I mean. So instead, we choose to go back and get health packs, which is a very bad idea. Because my team kept on hesitating whether we should go back and get the health packs or not, so I figured, okay, I'm gonna be the leader and go and get the health packs. And this way, we got really, really, really screwed over. And I don't know why Rochelle didn't save coach there, but it's not a big deal. As you can see here, we got really, really stuck up, especially because the horde seemed like it was never ending for some reason. And uh, the special infected were doing a pretty good job, if I may add. Um, here again, the Mudman, most annoying non special infected unit in the game. I guess th I guess they could be considered a special. No wait, a non-special special infected. I don't know what kind of category those guys are put in. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the clowns, the mud men, and the police officers, etc. And the biohazard suit guys. And I think I'm missing one more. Or the hazmat suit guys, or whatever. I think the mud men are the, are the worst out of all of them because they can blind you just like a boomer. So the boomer's job is a lot easier, in my opinion. Because you have mud men attacking them, plus if you have a boomer. There's a lot more blind people, as you can see here. Look, I'm half blind just by getting hit once by mud men. So annoying. And just to inform all you guys, once I do this Leopard 2 walkthrough, I'm going to complete it with a few comical videos that you guys will really enjoy. And after that, I'm going to call it quits from my Leopard 2 series. I know it's sad, I know it's sad, but, you know, in the gaming uh, gaming world, uh, things move on really quick. So I try and move on to new games, you know, so, you, so to other people who have also quit playing this game can also still continue to love my channel with the new games and don't worry I won't be f fixated on one game I'm gonna be doing a ton of games guys I, I have a uh, Mass Effect 2 coming up I have Bioshock 2 coming up I'm gonna be Aliens vs Predator coming up Napoleon Total War my Empire Total War videos are gonna be turned into Napoleon Total War videos Oop, excuse me and I think that's completely acceptable and Left 4 Dead 2 is kind of similar to a Mass Effect or a Bioshock, so not in the gameplay, but in the, the genre of game. Um, and here, we keep on getting held back by this one random. So when he comes back, I save him. Give him a little bit. Give him a little bit of help. For some reason, he just has a machete. I think he may have ran out of ammo. <laughs> I tell him to get going. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, guys. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Write a comment if you have a question. Rate this video if you like it. This is Jahazy. You're watching my Left 4 Dead 2 walkout. See you guys later.